Welcome back to Teshkid FX for another GRT price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you the latest developments that have been happening here on the GRT chart which at the time of this recording is holding below the 20 day MA here on the 4 hour chart which is now acting as resistance. We have also continued to obey the area 12 structures where we had been seeing a bit of a breakdown to the lower side in the formation of this wave 2 in a move that managed to get into the minimum retracement area which lies between the 0 0.144 dollar mark and the 0.0929 dollar mark in a move that gave us a low at around the 0.1053 dollar mark and having managed to get into the minimum retracement area in the formation of that wave 2 I now believe that we have bottomed out in the formation of that wave 2 and whatever we are seeing at the moment is the start of a massive run up to the upper side in the formation of this wave 3 and all this is playing out after we fully picked in the formation of this first wave in a move that gave us a picket around the 0.2 three to five dollar mark and before we started our area 12 structure we had been seeing higher prices in this one to set up to the upper side before starting our area 12 structure to the upper side and before I get further into the technical analysis to give you the short term scenarios and also give you my next price targets to the upper side in the formation of that wave three first give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and allow me to start the video by sketching out a target area to the upper side in the formation of that wave three by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave and that now gives me a minimum target area to the upper side in the formation of that wave three at the fib level 1.618 and that is at around the 0.3962 dollar mark and that is the minimum that I'm expecting that wave three to the upper side to do and because of the impulsive nature in the formation of that wave three I'm also expecting to see a micro area to have count within the formation of that wave three having the with 5 fully maximizing our, our target area and also giving us the high for that wave 3 to the upper side and it is this micro area to have count within the formation of this wave 3 that I'm expecting to give me the short term scenarios so jumping to the one hour chart for further analysis and to also give you the short term scenarios that I'm expecting to play out here on the GRT chart you can see that after seeing our low in the formation of these larger area 12 count 2 within this red target area we started this massive run up to the upper side of being the area 12 structures where you can see that I have this area 12 structure in red having the wave 5 giving us a peak at around the 0.1759 dollar mark and also completing the formation of this first wave to the upper side and after seeing the high for that first wave whatever we expected next was a a corrective structure in the formation of this wave 2 and using the Fibonacci's connecting them from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 I was able to come up with a minimum retracement area in the formation of that wave 2 between the Fib level 0 0.5 and the Fib level 0 0.78 which is a target area that lies between the 0 0.14 and the 0 0.12 dollar mark and it is within this blue target area down here that I'm expecting to see the low for this second wave to the lower side and at the time of this recording you can see that we have not fully maximized our target area we just touched that target area and yesterday we saw a bit of a reaction to the upper side in a move that gave us a peak at around the 0 0.14 to 7 dollar mark and there are chances that GRT is going to give us a breakdown to the lower side to give us one more leg down in the formation of this wave 2 before we can start gearing up to the upper side in the formation of this wave 3 and in the formation of this wave 2 where I'm also expecting to see an ABC corrective structure here on the charts you can see that I'm terming this as the wave A then a wave B giving me a peak at around the 0 0.1585 dollar mark and there are chances that we might get one more leg down in the formation of this wave C fully maximizing our target areas and also giving us the low for that second wave before we can start gearing up in the formation of this wave 3 to the upper side and also given that we are trading below the 20 day MA here on the 4 hour chart and also on the 1 hour chart which are both acting as resistances there are high chances that they might continue giving us the rejection to give us one more leg down in the formation of that wave 2 to the lower side so let's continue watching this blue target area which lies between the 0 0.1403 dollar mark and the 0 0.12 dollar mark which is the target area within which I'm expecting to see the low for this second wave in one more leg down in the formation of this wave C before we can start gearing up in the formation of that wave 3 to the upper side and getting back to the 4 hour chart to take a look 
look at the indicators here on the RSI we are trading at around the 39 mark meaning we have massive room for us to fully support the breakdown to the lower side also taking a look at the MACD here on the 4 hour MACD we have been able to print a bullish cross though we are seeing a decrease in the buying momentum suggesting that soon we might be able to print a bearish cross so let's be patient and see how that plays out and I'll be keeping you updated